Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel for this episode 9 on Comston Farm. Well, as you can see, it's rather early the next morning, and if we look at our contracts down here, you can see we do have a fertilizing contract, so that's the first thing I'm going to take care of, and then we'll, uh, we'll go shopping for a planter, so I'll take care of that uh, planting contract. And I'll catch up with you when that is done. See you in a bit. Well, I thought we'd check out uh, how things were going down here at our market garden, seeing as we were doing that contract in this area, and look at that. Looks like... Yep. We have product at every one. So I will need to get the telehandler down here and we'll get those moved. Now the intention is uh, we're not going to look for other cell points around the map, although I don't think there are any, any for these anyways. Well, sunflowers obviously and potatoes, but we're just going to sell everything here irregardless of price because the idea was we're feeding our farm shop for our customers. So um, at some point I'll probably a little forklift or something like that just to move our pallets around up here so another thing we need to add to the list I guess I'm gonna have to get this landscaping done at some point before we have products ready for our shop but anyway uh, enough of this dawdling around up here I will get this put away and I'll meet you down at the shop and we're gonna buy ourselves a planter Now we made it down to the shop. Let's take a look and see what they've got. Oh, that Coverlin should do. It's, uh, yeah, nine meters. And I think it's a Coverlin cedar we have, so that'll work out good. Uh, our only option is a license plate. Oh, I should check and make sure it's a direct drill for precision farming. Ooh, and it's not. Oh, I'm good. I see. Hmm. So this is our f smallest direct drill. Hmm. And we don't quite have enough money for that. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, what are we short? No, not that much. I think uh, I think I will uh, go and borrow the money for that. Corn's going to be a regular uh, part of our rotation, so just bear with me for a second. Well, there it is, guys. Not a bad size planter either, 12 meters. Pretty decent seed tank on it, about 3,800 liters, I think it was. I've actually never used this particular... Uh, planter so I'm not too disappointed but our loan now is up to 250,000 um, I mean certainly less than 500 but <laughs> as we had it paid off at one point oh a little disappointing I guess I'll get this hooked up but I need to buy some seed too but But we're doing pretty good, well, all in all. Like I said, we reduced half our debt, but we certainly expanded the farm a fair bit, so. All right, I'm gonna grab uh, some seed and get that in here, and uh, we'll head up to field 23. Well, we're down here at our weedy 23, and you can see underneath these weeds, we have rocks. So. I've leased ourselves a rock picker because we don't own one, so we'll get those off. And you can also see by the field info there that it has no fertilizer on it right now. So I'll get the rocks off, put a uh, application of fertilizer on, and then we'll be ready to plant our corn. Yeah. 
That would have been handy if the uh, rock picker had uh, uh, completely removed the weeds where we had uh, gone over, but it would have made it a little easier to see, but I think we'll be able to figure it out. Coming down here reminded me, I think the grass is ready on our uh, secret field here. So something else we need can add to the list. Well, as you can see, this is going to probably take a little time, and uh, I don't want to bore you with uh, me going around and around in circles, so I'll carry on and get this done. At some point, I'll probably take a break and uh, move those uh, products that we have in our market garden over, just so they can be... Uh, you know, start to be worked on, converted into other things. Uh, but I'll do a little bit of this, and then when I need a break, I'll run up and do that, and I'll bring you back in at that point. So we'll see you in a little bit. Well, as promised, I'm taking a little break from the rock picking up. About two-thirds done, I'd say. So not too bad. But I thought I'd come down here and get these productions going. I stopped and grabbed our one pallet of eggs and I'm going to throw that in our production building here. Uh, just because our chickens aren't setting the world on fire with egg production. And if we do decide to want to make a cake, we won't need to be waiting for eggs. So I'm not going to get any money for this obviously, but they'll be sitting here if we in storage if we uh, need to use them, so thought we'd do that. Um, as you may recall, I am hoping to buy a field with sugar beet in it uh, when it's ready to harvest. And that'll be the last uh, component we need. We'll have everything else. Eventually I'd like to get a small telehandler or lift truck again. I <laughs> got lift truck on the brain. Forklift what we call them here uh, in North America. At least to leave down here to do this. I don't have to bring the telehandler down but this works for now. There's been uh, a lot of good maps come out lately. Um, and, uh, you know, it is tempting to, uh, you know, have the urge sometimes to move over and play something new, but I'm, uh, myself personally, am nowhere near being done with uh, Comstant. Oop! With Comstant. Still got lots I want to do. I know Stone Valley is supposed to be coming out, and that's one I thought I, I have an idea for doing a Let's Play on there, but it's not out, due out, from, from what I understand, for a couple more weeks, and then it'll be sometime, you know, I like to wait until uh, the first update's done. But we're in no hurry, as long as you guys aren't in a hurry. Still got pigs and horses to bring in, as a minimum, to meet our goal.
spring's finally arrived here in Alberta. Our snow is mostly gone. We've had a couple nice days, you know, up in the uh, 15, 16 degrees Celsius range, which is not a bad temperature for us this time of year. Our snow is uh, mostly gone, um, although May Long weekend is coming and uh, I've seen lots of snow on uh, May Long around here, but we just got the snow in the, you know, some places in the ditches where it was really piled up. Farmers are getting ready to get in the fields. Anyway, I'll carry on with this. I'll get the rest of these things uh, dropped in here, and then when we're ready to turn the productions on, I'll bring you back. Okay, I've delivered everything here to our uh, production facility, except for the strawberries, which I just sold on. Uh, we're going to have uh, lots of strawberries, so there's no reason to store them up for cake making. So if we go into our production menu here. We are going to make the premium potatoes rather than the french fries because we get the byproduct of pig food. Oh, let me see, I need to bring water for that too. So I'll turn that on, but I'll, I'll get that water in right away. Uh, we're going to make some tomato sauce and we're also going to make mixed salads. I think we can do both because um, we get quite a few more tomatoes than we do lettuce so we should be able to do both those I think. Uh, I do need to bring some wheat down. We have some wheat in our silo so we can make some flour so I'll, I'll have to get on that job. Uh, but we need to turn our sunflower oil on. Now I'm not sure um, let's make sure we got cheese turned on here. Oh we didn't so we need to get that turned on. Um, at some point I'll need to start making some butter too, but for right now we'll just make cheese. Now I don't know if our uh, open air gardens will keep up with production or not, which will be quicker. So I have to keep an eye on that. But for now we should be good. I do need to bring the water tanker up here and put water in there, so I'll do that. And we should be good up here for a little while. Oh look, another box of strawberries already. I'll sell those on. Uh, before I go. But I'll get that done and get the water up here and then uh, finish up that rock picking. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Back up here at our market garden. I've hauled a bunch of water in. I also brought up uh, some wheat so we can turn our last of our productions on so we can turn that on now that we have the water and we can turn on wheat flour but there it is we're going to put that on distributing because we are going to turn on bread as well. Um, now, the flour is going to uh, produce much quicker than the bread, so at some point we'll start to have some flour that we can sell, as long as we don't run out of wheat. I finished the rock picking and got the fertilization done on field 23, so I'll take this back and hook on to our planter and meet you at field 23. Alright, I'm back at field 23 with our planter. Let's watch this thing unfold. I tell you, this was big enough to you know, get in that gate and not, I don't think uh, 
We'd want one much bigger, to be honest with you. Just a sec, I'm gonna close that gate so we can back right up. So I am uh, gonna attempt my first uh, time lapse. So I'm gonna pause the recording here. Uh, hopefully, immediately following, you will see a time lapse of planting. <laughs> but if not, you know things went terribly wrong. So <laughs> see what happens. Well, there we go. Corn is in. Hopefully that time lapse works out. I know the pattern I did it in is not realistic. You wouldn't drive back over where you see it, but that's just what's convenient. Uh, never claim to be 100% realistic. Uh, the other thing is that uh, planter required 300 horsepower, and our biggest tractor is 325, and I thought we might struggle a little bit on the hill there, but it worked out. Uh, it worked out well. So now it needs to be rolled and then fertilized again. So I will get that done and uh, bring you back in when that's complete. See you in a bit. There we go. Our corn is in. You can see we have a yield bonus of 98%. The only reason it's not 100 because we didn't have the opportunity to mulch it. We didn't own the field at that time. So all good we'll take that now our grass up here i believe is ready indeed it is so i'll take the sprayer back and i'll bring the mowers down and get it mowed i may not be able to uh get it bailed up for dark but I can probably get it mowed and we can bail it tomorrow morning so that's the next job see you in a bit well it's early the next morning I was able to complete that uh, bailing on field 23 before it got dark and I brought down uh, three more silage bales so we have a full 24 bales but we had some excitement overnight we had some births so we now have 20 sheep so our sheep population has doubled so that's pretty exciting uh, cows are getting well i guess halfway there so they're a little ways away but anyways i came here to grab the telehandler 
Uh, we've got some product to move up at the farm shop, so uh, I'll catch up with you there. So overnight, or since we put this, we've managed to produce some premium potatoes, uh, tomato paste. What's this? Oh, that's cheese. Nice cheese and uh, mixed salad. So we can take and we can deliver those to our farm shop. I already delivered the strawberries on the way in. Now, if we don't go too wild, we should be able to take both of these at once, I would think. Oh, not if I don't line it up properly, though. Why can't I? Oh, that's why. Didn't have the fork selected. I was try trying to widen out a little bit. Ooh, touchy today. Coffee hasn't set in, I guess, this morning. Not too smooth on the controls. <laughs> Not that coffee probably would normally <laughs> help that. So the plan for today, there are three contracts. I'll show you when we get done this, that I'm going to do. I'm going to move these, uh, sell these products and move them in. That should give us enough money that I can at least start on the landscaping up here. And Oh, I was going to check. I think we should probably get be close to a uh, a load of slurry uh, t to the BGA too. But those are the kind of things we're up to. Uh, June potentially higher crops could be uh, ready to harvest. But until then, it's just going to be uh, taking care of the market garden probably won't need to do anything with the animals necessarily. And uh, contracts until we can uh, harvest. Now there was a uh, new technology that uh, became available where we can make our own seeds. We're already making our own fertilizer from the digestate. Um, but there's a pretty neat uh, technology out there where you can put uh, either barley or wheat, I believe it is, in, and one for one gets seeds out. So I think we'll probably put that in. It it saves a little bit. Like seeds are 800 bucks for a thousand liters. The peak price on barley, I believe it was when I looked, was 660. Like that's the max. So uh, we actually do come out ahead, um, you know, producing the seed versus uh, selling the barley. So, and we have a ton of, or a reasonable amount, I shouldn't say a ton. We have like 80,000 liters. I had saved to do the pigs and chickens. We don't need that much. We could take and put a little in there and get some seeds to top up our greenhouses. So I'll probably find a spot for that. I haven't really decided where I'm going to put it. This sale should be a little better because the cheese actually sells pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. Like I said, I'm not going to shop prices around. The intent was all, all our uh, outdoor gardens are going to feed our farm shop. So that's where we're going to take all our product. Even if there's other sell points, uh, they don't vary very much typically in game anyway. So, wow, we got quite a few buds. Anyways, You've seen me move all of these before. I just wanted to have you in to sell our first products. So I'm going to take care of this, those contracts, and some... Oh, man. I'm really off today on the, the height in particular. Um, so that's what I'm up to. And when I get this landscaping done, I'll bring you back in. So we'll see you in a little while.
our farm shop is open for business. Give you a little tour. There's a parking lot for our customers. We even have a couple customers in there. Made a little area here for them to uh, enjoy their treats. Ice cream or produce or what have you. Made a little play area here for the kids. And benches for the parents to sit on. Put a washroom. Of course, we need one of those. I put some decorative trees here in the middle. There's a couple of sheds dotted around for our workers. Then I made a couple of these little picnic areas. In amongst the trees. Another one over there with another play area. I tried to uh, make the road kind of system consistent with what was here. Kind of joined our greenhouses together. Put some decorative trees here in the middle. Small ones so they don't block the sun to our gardens. And then put another parking lot. Then we place for our workers. So, pretty pleased with it. I did complete those three contracts. And <laughs> I spent the money all here, as you can see. I also uh, took a load of uh, slurry down to the biogas plant to be processed. But I think for now, I'm just going to fast forward to the rest of the day and uh, look for contracts uh, that might come up. And probably the same for tomorrow. Our animals are all good. Um, you know, I'll need to deliver the products here, of course, obviously. Um, but that's all about, uh, that's about all we've got going on. Uh, oh, I know one thing I forgot to do, which I'll do immediately, is I forgot to fertilize our grass field. So I guess I've got that little chore. But uh, I think I'll bring you back in when we start harvest, which will be, could be as early as June, a couple days, uh, certainly by July, unless we get some bursts or something else exciting happens on the farm. I think that's what the plan is. I'll just try and accumulate some money. So I think we'll call it an episode there for today. Um, if you're still with me, I want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you found this entertaining or informative, I encourage you to hit the like and subscription button. And if you want to see what other content like this lands, hit the notification bell. But for this episode, that is it. And this is Farmer Murphy signing off.